Low enough. 2017 was the last time down in Carbondale, and I'm going back down this year as well. And thousands and thousands of people will be heading downstate, not only into Illinois, but also into Indiana. And the school SIU is having a big celebration like they did last time in 2017 at Saluki Stadium, and they tell me they're getting ready. The total solar eclipse strikes back. It's our second solar eclipse. You know, in seven years, I can't actually put into a category how rare this is. Try once every 300 plus years, but somehow the stars aligned, or in this case, one star, the moon, and the earth aligned. Southern Illinois University in Carbondale will find itself in the path of totality on April 8th. This truly is your second in a lifetime chance to have the opportunity to see a total solar eclipse. SIU is making a weekend out of it with a host of mostly free activities leading up to the main event. A lot of people who are local think that total solar eclipses are normal. <laughs> we're excited for the events and we're really excited for visitors, but the nice thing is we've done this before. On Eclipse Day, Saluki Stadium is once again hosting a watch party and the university says it's prepared for an influx of 100,000 people. We do work with local hotels to try and keep their pricing down, but inevitably it's up to those hotels to set their rates. At last check, the average price for a one night stay was about $500 but there are other more affordable ways to enjoy the show. There's also ample camping available. There are at least 31 state parks, along with Shawnee National Park in the path of totality. But when it's all over, keep in mind, you'll have company on your drive back home. We have found from past experience that most people are gonna hop on the road and people just need to be prepared. You may be sitting in traffic for a little bit. Um, you may have a little longer travel time. And the only way around that is to delay your travel a day or plan to leave eight later in the day on Monday the 8th. You know, I remember checking Ooh. my phone when I was down there after the eclipse in 2017, yeah. looking at the travel time from Carbondale back to Chicago over 10 hours. Oh my gosh. Right after wow. the eclipse. So more than double. Yeah, yeah, more than double. You yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.